to. We're just not going to all clutter up here and uh, make it off the top. But uh, we are the mobile shuttle tracker group. We were continuing our project from last semester. And this semester is going to be a less, less focused on the mobile side and uh, more just porting it over to uh, the code base. Uh, so, start by telling you what we did last semester in case you don't remember the word here. Uh, we created two mobile app applications and a web app for the shuttle tracking system that's currently implemented by the web, tra uh, web tech group. Uh, they have a website, track shuttles, lets you see where they are. But we wanted a way to uh, see it on mobile devices and maybe on a uh, mobile web browser. So, here's some, some screenshots of what we made. And uh, we have a beginnings of a, an ETA algorithm that we haven't quite perfected yet, but you can see, you can, uh, see how long it would take to get to a certain stop. Um, so we, what we want to do now is we want to move, move our project to the existing code base of the web tech group, which is in Ruby. So I uh, may should talk a little bit about the server this week. Yeah, so over the summer I essentially did a massive overhaul of our current of our current uh, server code, which which is uh, completely written in Java, so I rewrote the architecture and rewrote the architecture to match uh, what we originally wanted to have in the first place. Um, so wh whatever you uh, see right now uh, for our mobile applications, that's running on server 2.0, as as I called it. Unfortunately, there are some bugs in uh, this code, which I'm not really going to fix in the actual Java, Java code. Instead, I will, when we uh, pour everything over to Ruby and uh, add it as a patch to the WebTech group uh, code base, you will see, you will hopefully see uh, better working, better working ETAs and uh, better route determination. So, yeah. Since the WebTech group code is written in Rails, uh, the group will essentially be trying to uh, learn Rails and port all of our server stuff from Java into Rails. So we, so we just want to make it uh, easy to have one shuttle tracking service on campus rather than have two competing ones that it's not going to work very well. And also this way we will, uh, we will also uh, make sure that there is a permanent tracking solution even after we graduate because we only have like a year here. And, Another feature we want to add is uh, Concerto integration. So you maybe want to see the, the shuttle ETAs or where the shuttles where the shuttles are, but you don't have your phone on you, you don't have an Android iPhone, some kind of smartphone. Uh, so the next slide. Yeah, yeah let's, we're thinking of putting a uh, a map, and we don't have it on here yet, but a uh, ETA list, so you can see when the shuttles are coming to each of your stops, so you can see it uh, a little bit more conveniently. Yeah, that's what we're doing this semester. Anyone have any questions or comments? Maybe about current implementation or what we're doing. Oh, and also thanks to Sean O'Sullivan, Murthy, and everyone else in our class. We kind of forgot to add that slide. So you are in touch with Brian Maitensky and so on? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 He, he kind of gave us the okay <coughs> that if we were to add any sort of patch, then uh, uh, Talking about the, the Ruby guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. thanks for the comment. Yeah. If no questions, then thanks. Oh, um, this, this is more of a question for um, whoever, whoever you guys did the Android side of it. Um, I noticed since the last Android update, it's been crashing kind of a lot. Um, do you know why that is? or? Uh, well, I haven't seen any crashes, so okay. I've been submitting the crash report and crashes. Okay, it just, mm, no, I didn't see that. <laughs> so, I will, I, yeah. Right, I'll take a look at it. Cool, see, yeah, I can show you. So, when, uh, when you say integrate into the existing system, you mean not pulling their server for updates, you're going to pull right from their data source? Yeah, that exactly. Because we have a separate server based on PHP and Java, so we just want to have it all. Okay. Everything would be on their server. So, yeah. Okay. Okay, thanks.